Here's how it works. You can take any three-figure number 
which doesn't have recurring digits or noughts in it. And you can do a certain maths to it, which is if you come this way, these numbers here, they all, they all share a harmonic function. They've all got a gap of one and a gap of four between them. But there's no two, that's a gap of one. There's no four, five, six, seven. Four, five, seven, that's a gap of four. So its harmonic signature is <coughs> a one, four, or a 14 chord, if you want to name things names. And, and the way that that number, or any combination of that, 318831, la-di-da, you do this specific maths to it called shifted pair subtraction. And so you have the 861 here. The first sum you can do with it is you could look at them as a pair, the 8 and 6, put them down there, and shift the one down there, and subtract. And there's bingo, there's a frequency. Or a number, but I've made them frequencies because they sort of are, but they definitely are. So 675 is the frequency. Yeah, and then you can do the same sum again. You take your number 861. This time, instead of taking the pair 8 and 6, I'm going to take the pair 6 and 1. Put 6 and 1 over there, the 8 there. Pop, subtract, you know, you've got 2, 4, 3. Which, if you have an iPhone and you mess around with it, you, in Pythagorean tuning, you'll, no, you'll notice, you'll know that that is a B. And you think, wow, a B. Then you do another sum. Here we go. This time, instead of 861, it's 816. So I take a pair. I take the 81, and I put it down there. And then the 6 flies over there, and I subtract. I get 135, which, hey, wait a minute, that's a C sharp. You go on, hey, wait a minute, that's an E. And that's a 432A, which is what this whole thing is about. It's finding out why 432A. Here it, here it is. And so you have nine possible answers. These last ones, you just, you just swap the last two rounds and subtract, and you get a low number. But these numbers, they all add up to nine. <clears throat> and there's, no matter what number you take, there's only 16 possible answers it will give. So all numbers give one of these 16 white displays of what I call cosmic chords. So how, so, so to explain that to me again, um, why the 16? Uh... Well, <clears throat> that's just through doing, through like drilling every number and saying, all right, what answers will you give me? And then it was like I kept, I went through every number between 100 and 1,000. And, and then I got to about two or 300 and I thought, wait a minute, I'm just getting repeats. And then I realized that it was the harm, how harmonic the number was, its harmonic quality, which determined math, so I was getting to high numbers like 729, and I thought, well, that's going to be the same as a 297, I've already done that, and lo and behold, it was. And so you end up with just 16 possible fam families of nine numbers. And when you write them all down in a list, which is up here, they turn into this chart. All of these values are <laughs> the what do here. you say? <laughs> what do you say? Well, I think what's important is the question, because you can say anything you like. But it's the question that's important, because without the question, you haven't got the uh, awareness required to understand. Otherwise, it's just talking, which isn't necessarily. It's like a echo response. It's like a chord on a guitar. It's like a piano. Something so there's a reason to hit the note. So there's a reason to ask the question. So asking the question is like hitting the piano. Then you get something meaningful happening. It's true. Uh, it's like a, a fractals, very much number fractals. And these are all tones, tonal values. Which, what would you call them? They're boiled down there. Well, the Babylonians will call them gods. <laughs> they, would, they would worship them. <laughs> they are products. They're up, they're up, well, the reason why you call them gods is because they're a complete abstract. You can only understand them in a completely abstract way, which means that you're then into consciousness again. Yeah. And 126 chickens has a meaning if you're a chicken <laughs> partner, right? 
and 117 chickens has meaning if you're a chicken farmer. But there is a difference between that and the abstract meaning of this progression that can only be understood at a very, very high level of abstraction. <laughs> it and is that, highly abstract. When you start to do that, you're going from differentiation into unity. Because abstraction brings you into like a, a unity kind of thought process. It's a very, it, it really is bringing left and right brain together. Yes, it does. This chart has a lot of crazy properties. You might just look at it and see a load of numbers. Um, but once you, once you see what's going on with it, like down the left-hand column, you have the nine times table. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 45. Across the top, if you ignore the knots, which you're, which you're allowed to do in, in this style of mathematics, you have the same. You have 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 44, 63, 72, 81. And round, round the edges, if you look at the diagonal, I've got 189 there, diagonal here. Hold on, does this go from the 819 now? From the 819 down, if you go down the diagonal, sh 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 sh, you get to 189. Yeah. And you're like, hey, wait a minute, There's something similar there. The one has jumped over and become a 189. If you go to here, 828, the two jumps over. You follow the diagonal and it becomes 288. And so on, the 3 jumps over and becomes 386. 846, the 4 jumps over and you get 486. So, how do you come to that? How do you go from 846 to 486? Well, I'm just looking down the diagonal. I'm going down a line of sixes here, by the way. And there's a pattern that each, in this column, that number jumps over there and you get that number. Right. So that's the outside, the relationship with all the outside numbers. The inside numbers, like the threes, act as mirrors. So if you start there and look out as if it's a mirror, you get to three, and you get to four, and then you get to three, two, five, three, one, six, three, and it wraps around itself and it creates, you can, you can draw this chart on a polo mint if you have a small enough pencil. Which we could go and have a look at, couldn't we? Have a look. Yeah, there's loads more things on this chart, but that's oh, just no. the beginning. Okay. Yeah. The six, yeah. six, the six, six, sixes are good <laughs> because they control, or they they magnetise, they attract all the different combinations of five, six, and seven, six, five, seven, seven, five, six, seven, six, five, six, seven, five, five, seven, six, five, six, seven. The threes, on the other hand, they like they like four three twos or three four twos or two three fours or two three fours or three two fours or four two threes. So, <laughs> can you believe it? Halving and doubling, and how we go from a single cell. Yeah. We start if we start from one cell to two to four to eight, right? Then you've got vortex space plus base mass. So you've got that going on. In every life process there is, that's it. That's your lot. <laughs> and it has, yes, three nines, nine, nine, nine. That's as, that's, that's, that's as far as it goes. Curious. This also means that our number system isn't necessarily a random artificial invention. Base 10 has got something special to do with the fundamental focuses of, of what reality is. Yes, it is. And music. It's all possibilities because it's one to nine plus zero. Yeah. So it allows for you to nothing. All of it. And uh, if you take the keys on a keyboard, but the Fibonacci sequence is actually embedded in. If you look at a piano keyboard, you'll see the Fibonacci sequence. Because you've got, if you think of it, you've got two black notes, yeah. you've got three black notes, you've got one octave, one, you've got two, then you've got three, and you've got five black notes, right? And then, then you've got 13 keys all together. So the one, one, two, three, five, eight, 13, which is the beginning of the Fibonacci, is actually on the keyboard. The keyboard itself. Itself. 
Why? Because the keyboard has been designed to do something that as it makes sense. Consciousness yeah. thing. Cog cogent. So therefore, what how we want to hear music is connected to that process. Otherwise you wouldn't have a keyboard like that. Okay? So no, that, that, that's that's it, that's making sense too. So that's that side of things, but, um, which is also a, li a, long, a linear thing, but this is I don't yet meet to be fully understandable, but well, it's kind of baffling in its obviousness. Um, so that's one four four, one five three, yeah. One six, that'd be one six two. Yeah. Why is there only one six two? Oh, I think there might have been one that looked off. Ah, okay. That one could go off. Yeah. So that'd have to be a one because it's set to one. One seven one. one. So that'd be one seven one. One eight yeah. nine. One eight nine, and then. You're back down to 108. <laughs> Come and see the donut. This is the same thing, like drawn, drawn out, believe it or not. Now, where's the nine? So that's the same as that chart, but it's in same as 3D. That chart, but drawn out, just drawn out where. Hmm, where's that naughty nine? You can never find it. Anymore. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's not very good. This. So, so around that column you have... Oh, I can't see anymore. You see, I couldn't... <laughs> Nine's gone. Uh, it, nine. is, it is that chart. Here's a nine. There we go. There's the chart. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six, forty-five, fifty-four. And then remember going across the top, you had, if you took out the naught, you've got the same thing. You've got the 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72. Every time you see one of these funky lines, there's a, as you see, there's a lot going through the nines. <laughs> Something's going on, there's some reflecting going on somewhere. It goes through there, and look, oh, mirror. Eight. The nines come and go as they please. Two, seven, they're all rubbing out. One, two, six, two, two, five, three, two, four. And you see there's another mirror. So that sends them back that way. Four, two, three. Da -da -da. It's harmonic. <laughs> one, eight, nine. See the one and the eight, and the nine flips to the naught back. Hang on. One, this is what I need to understand. One, eight, nine. Yeah. There's the eight, there's the one. Nine becomes a naught to start the sequence. So those two are actually matched. One, eight, nine. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Eight, nine. The other way to do it is to go around there. It's one, 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 all the way around. Keep yeah. going around on once. But that is an ascending sequence. Eight. Yeah, but That's a descending go... sequence. Nine. And, and starts again, eight, zero, one, two. Uh, and so that's one, 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 yeah. one, one. Yeah, okay. these can only ever go up to yeah. nine. <laughs> if you can include a naught, these always go up to eight. So that's a, a naught to eight sequence going backwards and forwards. So that way, that is way. this nine round? One, two, yeah, one. yeah, because you've got naught. Naught to eight is a nine. So those, the, the biggest, not those numbers get to, is going to be eight and eight. And those are, all, are either noughts, or ones or twos or threes or fours, or five, six, or seven, or eight. So strangely... <laughs> it's stretch, it's very non-linear, the, yeah. the way it happens. Mind you, I mean that's... But it's very linear. See, see, the, see the largest, six, seven, eight, there's your nines. <laughs> there are many nines. But maybe that's what we're meant to do, is just sit. I mean, I like the, the donut, but maybe just sit and look at that sheet of, on there, just looking at the patterns. No, the donut makes sense too. 729828. Oh, You've got to go. Yeah. What's, why is that shifting that way to that? 
seven, eight, nine. Right. This two, is this is the two. two okay, two, that's the two. Nine, eight, seven. That's the two plane. That's the. Well, yeah. The, this is where the middle number is two. Yes. So people are saying, what's all the middle number two? It's that particular sector. Middle number one, that sector. So that's the one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's multiple. It's multiply symmetric. It's multiply symmetric. So it's like a fractal. A fractal number, magic square. We've got magic square to magic water things. It's expanding. It's doing things to my brain. I think that's the whole point. <laughs>